name is Kuldeep Kilkar. Um, I work as a senior manager within the global user research team. Um, the, the title for today is Adapt or Die, the next decade, and actually the lang longer title is Adapt or Die, the next decade, answering business and experience questions. So it's all about how do we as a community of user researchers, experienced researchers, bring all sorts of different insights into the organization. And then over the next 10 years, and I'm, I'm not really here to predict how the future is going to be, but I can already see different levels of challenges that we as a community are going to face over the next 10 years. And um, it is to a large extent figuring out how we build credibility within the organizations that we build and, uh, and, and the ways to get that achieved uh, within, within a larger organization. Yeah. PayPal as a brand is in a, what we call low touch category. You don't, consumers don't experience PayPal every day, 10 times a day. Payments in general is a low um, involvement category. Consumers aren't passionate about how they spend money. They, they will talk about probably their, their social networking or they'll talk about the item that they purchased. They wouldn't talk about for hours with their friend on how great the checkout process was. Right? Checkout process by definition has to be a quick, easy, get me through it fast, be it reliable, peace of mind, don't, don't bother me with, with anything else, let me just go through it so that I can enjoy whatever I'm buying, be it a digital good, be it a physical good. So in, in general, it's not a what we call high engagement brand, which complicates our challenges even further. But that's the million dollar question, right? Exactly how. That's what um, we have great designers for. That's where we have great experienced professionals for. And, and remember, the definition of easy here changes from people to people. As you said, just said, click of a button, that might be true for some, but there are there's a, a big segment of population that doesn't just want it one click of a button, but also wants the to be sure that they are entering the right address, that it's going to be shipped at the right address, that they 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 what we call the minimum resistance. They they want to be sure of what they are purchasing, while there are others that just want it to be the one click of the button and just magically happen. Um, so. E making it easy for the right target is the is the challenge. Uh, the how, um, not easy. We haven't figured it out. I guess um, the the long answer to the how question really is it starts with the voice of the customer. Starts with understanding who your customers are, what your customers want. Different segments of customers want different things. There are different attitudes. We are global. We have presence in 20 plus uh, so on the website we say about 140 plus um, countries where people can send money um, uh, on the website we also say about 85 million active PayPal consumers uh, 18 plus local currencies in 20 localized sites so that's that's big right? there's no a single definition of a, of a consumer um, um, so, so back to your question. It starts all the way from understanding who they are, what their what their needs are, um, and then moving along the what we call the iterative design process, where we're conducting exploratory research to form new designs and and create new concepts, and then it goes through a, a somewhat vetting process to make sure that we are designing the right thing, and at the tail end, um, at least for our highly specialized checkout like products it has to be what I call design optimization. The point at where we are, we just cannot run a usability study and find 15 problems. We are at a point where we have done this for years. And so most likely we have identified a whole bunch of big problems. Now it is identifying newer methods to get to the teeny weeny smaller problems, but they are not small because we have millions of transactions every day so that, that Thing that feels like a corner case is still big because hundreds of thousands of people are facing that every week. So now it's all about optimization in those established products, whereas exploring new needs and new areas for completely new types of products. So um, the question on adapt or die does, uh, is not specific to PayPal, it's more specific to the research methods. So as a community, this entire conference is about usability testing user research. And the point that I'm going to make at the end of the day is it's, it's 
not just user research or just usability testing as a method. Um, companies, executives, anyone making big decisions need triangulation from a lot of different research methods. So go look at what web analytics is trying to do, go look at usability tests, go look at surveys, go look at um, focus groups, go look at ethnographic research. Um, um, there's a full world within the, the e-metrics, the, the financial metrics, the business analytics type of metric. And bring all that information in as a single voice of customer to act on rather than just relying on 10 people usability tests to that it feels like the research community which I have been part of for the last 10-12 years is overtly focused on one research method namely the usability testing method and then we re over rely on that method as a single source of truth so if we continue doing that in the next 10 years it's not going to be be uh, what execs in any company not just PayPal just in general people who have to make big decisions cannot rely on just that single source they have to rely on triangulating it from multiple sources and then there is some judgment call so that's what the what the talk is is based on and then the second half of the of the talk is going to talk about um, coming up with or at least using newer types of research methods I mean the world is moving really fast where um, the analytics world is moving so fast that we can now measure e almost everything on the website right? We should include that as part of our our research findings. The world is moving fast in in terms of um, uh, literally measuring at the brain level, eye tracking what is happening. Um, there are a few sessions here uh, eye tracking in our labs. We have a, a a beautiful eye tracking lab where we can literally measure where consumers are looking on the screen. Um, there are newer methods and uh, that are emerging the the uh, mainly the neuromarketing world where we can even before people can articulate if they like something or not things can be measured at the brain level the moment they see it that's that's where the, those are those are the newer sexier things and so it's up to us to figure out how we can integrate all of that to come up with a single source of truth <laughs>